They are back. They left Earth three and a half decades ago. They traveled through space. They seen the future, and as their cosmic jam vessel flew, now they have returned, calling all ravers. Get ready to dance on the moon. You can witness the queue. Sunday, 20th October at the Kitchen Club. Grab your tickets now. With the risk of getting lynched, I have to talk about this thing and it bugs me as much as it bugs everyone. The word for 2024, 2025 needs to be community. Everybody's talking about community, building a community. You want to release records, record company is going to say community, you know. Back in the days, you needed to just have a good record. Now people tend to want to invest in you if you got a community, a following. And I do understand that with social media and the whole way of interacting nowadays, uh, it has become a thing of building like-minded people, finding like-minded people and building an audience um, of creating people uh, around you, community. So, well, this is how I connect with my community or with my following or with my uh, peers on YouTube. That's going to be today's video. Are you ready for it? Let's go and do it right now. Hey, what's up and welcome. I'm in the location and thank you for checking out yet another video. Now, if this is your first time here, don't hesitate to click subscribe and hit that notification bell. Cause whenever I upload a new video, you'll be kept in the loop and you'll not miss out on anything. So do stick around till the end of this video. There's much to tell what to think of tickets that I've got up for grabs in the ticket link. Um, ticket link is below for ADE for the Kitchen Club event. And lo and behold, Quadrophonia is back together. Me and Oliver spoke. Um, it's to do with a second album that we have created and that has never been released. I will spare you why that happened, but let me put it this way. Sometimes you want to go a certain direction and the record company wants something else, yada, yada, yada. And I don't even want to get into the contracts. So, but years later, many years later, people are showing an interest in, in listening to at least what we have created back then. And it sounds current for some odd reason. So yeah, we came up with an idea. We spoke about on how we could rebrand it. And there's so many fans out there. So thanks everyone for making it possible, uh, we're back. Which means we're not going to rehash and rekindle all these old tracks. We will perform with them. The thing is we're going to be perform live. So it's not just going to be uh, run it off the tape or run it off Ableton and just do it. No, we're going to do this live. So we are figuring out a way to look at a cross between left field, Depeche Mode, On The World, um, you know, um, Orbital, that kind of vibe. So if that, tickles your fancy let me know in the comment section uh, if you want to get a quadrophonia show at a theater near you okay now the first ever preview is going to be at ADE at the Amsterdam dance event because what is happening there is at our kitchen club events of which you know if you are a follower of the channel if this is your first time here thank you but if you follow this channel you know about it I try to connect with my audience nice bridge this video is all about that, actually. I want to make a connection. When I started out, it was very hard to find like-minded people. The competition was fierce. I guess that's normal if a scene is new. Uh, people are trying to protect their own little spot and their little space. But in the end of the day, um, they forget about one very, very adamant and important rule. There is strength in numbers. If you want to progress if you want to just move ahead it's better to just do that with like-minded peers so i've made a lot of uh, tracks i've did a lot of shows i flew all over the world many times um was it great it was absolutely amazing was it lonely very much so so a couple years back and i speak to my patrons on friday nights after the videos often about this i have created a means of me not being lonely anymore as in it sounds a bit more 
um, drastic and dramatic than it is. But in the end of the day, you want to have like-minded people. You want to talk about what it is that you know, what you like, what you love, or stuff that you think you love. And other people tell you, well, you might not love it after a while. It's just cool to have um, a, an echo chamber of people that pretty much fancy and love the same things as you do. Now, in that sense, I wanted to connect, but when this channel started in COVID, it was, how am I going to connect all these people together? Everybody is looking at me to have the answers as I've been doing it for quite some time. But you know, a lot of people that follow the channel have, have just be, are just beginning and are just um, getting their feet wet, uh, their toes in the water. How do you create uh, a unified, here comes the dirty word again, community uh, without uh, people feeling inadequate or not ready or you know there's so many different levels especially because yeah, youtube is open source you know there's no entry level anyone can call say whatever they want um so how do you create a respectful community i thought okay we all love music that's the first thing we all love making music with synthesizers so that's the second thing and if we place a few rules if we put a few rules in play then it now becomes very simple to just follow those rules so what i have said is within brackets within boundaries everybody can make music but you have to do it with um with information that your your your, your the, the, the the previous producer did so i started this thing off i call it the dance carousel romantic title but i start a beat and then within a certain amount of time i will only pass my beats over um, or my um, I will only pass the music over to the next producer they have to use my music to start their segment up so what the rules are is there's a certain BPM on which everybody follows it because we're doing this in a back-to-back -back DJ kind of fashion you know if you know back-to-back -back sets with DJs two DJs or more they play together and they uh, interline and the cool part is the beating off each other somebody throws in a record you don't expect it you have to answer it with another record so the adrenaline goes and grows and i thought is it possible to do that with live sets now the challenge is everybody uses different things with live sets especially analog live sets everyone's going to do their own little thing um so we had to have put some ground rules out that's what we did um and the ground rules are certain bp image BP image um, so many bars of at least having a transition so you and it needs to be clear which part you adapted from your previous producer now this thing has been flying around the world because everybody lives in a different location but it's cool um, this is what I call the dance carousel and this is how I connect with my community on YouTube as a matter of fact I do it in discord through patreon.com slash analog kitchen. If you want to join up, that would be the, your way to go. Now, if not anything else, um, I will not go to my live set now. I will go briefly, but I will definitely uh, show you all my uh, patrons that have provided music, that have jammed it out. I would like to thank all of you guys, everyone in this video, Thanks very much for making this possible. Um, it was a philosophy of mine, it was a dream, and now it's becoming, it's becoming more and more a solid thing. So I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Thanks ever so much. Um, even next week at ADE, at the Amsterdam Dance Event in Amsterdam, some of you are flying out. We're going to meet each other. Uh, we've been talking for about five years online already. Can you believe it? Some time flies when you're having sins. Um, so, Without further ado, world out there, this is the Analog Kitchen Dance Carousel. Enjoy.
absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's really cool. Thanks everyone for making it really cool. Thanks for the vibe, for the flow. Uh, if you want to join up, you want to just link yourself into it, follow everything on patreon.com slash Kitchen. That's where the magic happens. And then there's a bridge into Discord because that's an easier sort of like platform to interact and connect uh, with this uh, community. Um, thank you very much. I'm Analog Kitchen. If you made it this far into the video, you sir or ma'am are an absolute superstar. Next weekend, it's going to be the Amsterdam dance event. That means I will be in Amsterdam for a week. And our uh, event that we are throwing, so mind you, there's a thousand parties in about five days, a thousand events in five days. Amsterdam is going to be crazy. So to all you survivors out there, on the Sunday, we're doing our kitchen club event with Quadrophonia doing um, uh, something. I'm not going to tell you what it is that they're going to be doing, but they are, they are going to be there. Tickets are available still, but they're flying out fast. So do grab them there in the um, description below. Uh, if not anything else, I'll probably see you there on the dance floor or, you know, just hit me up. You see me anywhere. Um, this weekend I'll be in Berlin. I'll be going to the Kit Kat Club again. I'll be playing there, just DJing this time, um, which is also something I do in my spare time, um, if I have any. Um, so yeah, I guess that that is that. Are you still talking? Yes. Why? I don't know. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next week. Keep watching this space. Don't be a stranger. Kisses. Stay analog. Peace.